Hey everybody, this is B from Kongs R Us. Thanks for waiting. This is a fun, fun Sunday, fun day show. Today we got a special thing happening. Um, I got some folks from the Team Encoder team here. Misdirection is here, and today he's finally released his Terminator 2 mod. It's a soft mod for T2. People have been waiting for this for, I want to say, years, Mrs. Kongs R Us. This is history in the making, and you are here. Talk, you could talk to me. Okay, I gotta talk in like this though. I'm not mic at all, and I, I love this setup where it's like I have to be yay high to be able to um be I, part of the stream. Uh, I'll I'll point down so oh, okay. people can see oh, well, you. There well, you eyes are. Up here, eyes up yeah. Here. Okay. Now you people can't see me. This is, we're still getting used to this fancy camera. This is this is the uh you know fancy camera stream here where we're in the Kongs arcade. Um, so we have the folks here from Team Encoder that are going to be joining in just a second. We're going to do a live demo of the Team Terminator Two mod. Um, but first off, Mrs. Kongs happy St. Patrick's Day. Are you, you wearing green right now? Are you wearing green right You're now? You're not wearing green either. <laughs> oh, I took off my jacket. My jacket had well, green on it. We have green oh, yeah, we have green in our microphone. So, ah. you still get pissed. Ow. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways, that's fun. <laughs> Let's bring on uh, Misdirection here because uh, he has a girlfriend. I mean, does your girlfriend come out and pitch you when you're not wearing green? Uh, for less than that, I would say. <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you? I'm good. Yeah? Uh, finally got this thing out the door, and I am going to sleep. Nice. For like two <laughs> days at this point. Wow. Yeah. So uh, I know you've been working on this, I want to say, for the better part of almost two years now. For folks that may not know who you are, do you want to just give a, a brief history of your work? on this mod, part of Team Encoder. Uh, people know you potentially as Misdirection because we have several members of the Team Encoder team here. But talk to us about like you know how you found Team Encoder and kind of your history modding some of these cabinets. Hi, Kitty. Yeah, I actually started. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I've got. I'm being swarmed by cats now. Nice. Uh... They just want to join the stream. That's how it is. All good. Mm -hmm. um... I actually started on this, uh, yeah, two, two years ago, almost to the day, uh, would have been on the 11th, uh, had basically bought it specifically to mod it. The original plan was, you know, throw a PC in there, get it working. Uh, but like everybody else, I found out that the drivers don't, you know, the guns don't actually work plugged into the PC. They're just webcams. Mm -hmm. uh, so ended up really digging into the cabinet. And then uh, bumped into Mystery Encoder specifically um, while I was working on this. We ended up having a chat, and I ended up joining specifically as a result of T2. Uh, so this is actually what got me on the team in the first place. Nice. Had you seen any of the prior work that they were doing on Buck Hunter or anything, or is this completely a separate, different system that had to be tackled from scratch? It was. Uh, I didn't actually use any of the uh, Buck Hunter code or anything that had already been done with it. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> mostly, this is entirely custom, uh, save mm -hmm. for things like uh, Sam and you know the ever-present mystery encoder stuff. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah, so the Team Encoder folks have been busy. So there are several of you have been working on upcoming mods. I heard DMod has a Blitz mod coming out soon. Mr. Mm -hmm. Encoder himself has been working hard at A1UP Pinner 4.0, which we never thought would come. But uh, he says it's soon, potentially coming up for release. Let us know in the chat, Mr. Encoder, if that's ever going to come out. Uh, and so we'll be doing some hopeful demonstrations of those when they come out as well. But today, we're going to do an attempt at our infamous live modding session. So Misdirection, it's now your turn to see if uh, uh, myself and Mrs. Kongzuras can pull off modding our T2 live. And if all goes according to plan and nothing goes wrong, uh, I may go back and do a, a, a full-on demo tutorial afterwards. But you know, I think that's half the fun is seeing if this actually works. But are you, how confident from a scale of like one to 10 do you think this is going to work the first time we try it out? We'll go six. <laughs> six. <laughs> My girlfriend says nine. Nine. All right. <laughs> there Thank we go. You. Yeah. Some confidence. And how about you? I mean, you've seen us do many live modding things and shenanigans with Mystery Encoder team. Are you feeling positive today? Are you feeling the look of the Irish? I thought it was a different kind of mod. We're doing software mods. I brought socks in case we actually were modding. No, like, we've got to like 
turn around and do stuff. Are, are you drinking anything yet? Because I mean, it is St. Patty's Day. Are you having a drink? Do you have What's anything? I have no drink yeah. here. Does Misdirection have a drink? All right. Are you drinking anything? I have, I have water, but yeah, apparently my girlfriend's getting me a drink. Nice. <laughs> All right. Cheers. We have to. Bring on the libations. Day. Libations. I got um, some Chico Coors Lights, and you're drinking some Prosecco. Prosecco. Um, so let us know in the chat. Uh, how the, how this is going to go. Mr. Encoder says, I think this one is easy enough that Mrs. Kong could do it solo. Ooh. <gasps> challenge. That's a challenge. Okay. This is by far the easiest mod we've released so far. The easiest mod that the team Encoder has put out so far. All right. So let's go over the directions for everybody. Uh, kind of just verbally really quickly so that folks that are joining in can follow along and see how easy this is for you. If you actually want to follow along and you have your own T2 mod and you want to try to do this in the chat, so here is the actual link. I'm dropping it into the chat to download the No Fate mod. Why did you name it No Fate? Any any <laughs> story behind that? Thumbs up, my dude. What is that? <laughs> You'll know it's is that a shot. What is that? What yeah, you... I got my uh, Pac-Man shot glass. Yeah. Pac Cheers. Let's go. So tell us okay. what's behind No Fate. <laughs> Yeah, that's Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the name uh, is taken directly from the movie, uh, the whole no fate but what we make for ourselves. Yep. Um, the reason why I settled on that name specifically is because this has been so, so long coming, basically. Uh, everybody has continually told me over and over again, this isn't possible. You can't you know, make this work. So this is it. We're writing our fate here. <laughs> there it is. That's what North Men Gaming was saying. So yes, I put it into the chat where you can download this and follow along yourself. So here are the steps from what I understand and you can kind of repeat it back to me in case uh, this isn't gonna work. So uh, the link takes you to an image that you're gonna download. So you're going to need a couple of supplies to do this mod. The first thing you're gonna need uh, is a micro SD card. Uh, so the minimum micro SD card here that is recommended, kind of want to get into focus there, uh, is a minimum eight gigs. This is a 64 gigabyte SanDisk micro SD card. Uh, you know, this is just a reader. So uh, the speed of the card does play a factor in how well it performs on the cabinet for a short portion. So SanDisk, would you recommend is kind of the recommended brand? I wouldn't say recommended, but I mean, anything high speed. I've got a couple of, uh, you know, shitty micro center SD cards that have worked just fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And so it's a 1.8 gig gigabytes is the file size. So compressed. So you definitely need at least eight gigabytes or higher. So I'm using a SanDisk, you know, just get whatever micro SD card that you have. Uh, you're going to essentially write an image onto the SD card. So for anybody who's ever done a Raspberry Pi mod uh, to be able to play, uh, you know, retro Pi, you're going to be flashing an image onto the disk using something called Etcher. And so you can use any flashing software. Etcher is one of the ones that people use, Balena Etcher. Um, and so you do that. And then we're going to plug the SD card into the T2. It's going to do some magic. We're going to see, hopefully, some stuff on the screen pop up. Uh, you say there's some cue that lets us know that it's complete? Yes. Um, yes? There will actually be uh, a number of things that will pop up. There's an intro. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a you know progress bar. and at the end, you'll have a installation complete notification. Nice. So you'll know then you can turn it off. Got it. OK. And so again, this is the actual uh, modification portion of the T2 cabinet. So there are, for disclaimer points, no ROMs included in any of these files. So this is kind of our public disclaimer for the team encoder folks, as well as misdirection myself. We're not promoting piracy. Uh, you know, folks will need to source their own ROMs yourself. And so the second half of this, after the cabinet is modded, you're going to need to take out your SD card, plug it back into your PC. And now you'll have a folder structure where you're going to actually drop the ROMs that you've gotten on your own, that you own, however you've sourced them yourself from uh, the magic of the internet, drop them into the folder structure, and then put them back into your cabinet. And that's how you're going to play your game. So that did that kind of pretty much cover it? It's kind of yeah. like a, so flash your card, put it into the cabinet. Put the card into the computer, drop the ROMs in, put it back in the cabinet. Mrs. Kong, they're us. How confident do you feel like you could do this? Does that sound pretty simple? 
Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Uh, appreciate that. Thanks for dropping the links into the chat there, Jason. Uh, a super awesome resource there. So if you want to follow along, definitely do that. And then we can get there. So the front end itself, it's using Sam. Shit ass menu. Is that the, <laughs> the uh, yeah? Um, I actually uh, I had titled the uh, intro portion Anim Startup, but I feel like I should have gone with shit ass startup. Uh, the mouse interface is called you know lib team, team encoder IO. I feel like I should have gone with shit ass mouse. Like so many missed opportunities. Hey, there's, there's so much more to do than that. So we can definitely get that going on. So, okay. So once we actually um, get the uh, files downloaded, I do want to just share really quickly um, uh, what you actually get in that file folder structure. So once you do this, I'm going to share my screen for a second. All right. So uh, you're going to download uh, the file. It's going to be no fate zip. Once you unzip it, you're going to get the image. And then you're going to get this readme. No, seriously, fucking read this first. And so this is probably one of my favorite things that Team Encoder does is put together this amazing. So did you did you have 100 percent uh, author authors of this? Did you write this yourself, or did you have? Uh, yeah, that was me. This is all you. Okay, all right. So, anyways, this is fun. Read through this. This is super fun. Uh, talks about all the different uh, things that you've been working through. Uh, there is a Patreon, by the way, specifically just for Misdirection working on this. So, if you want to support him. Take a link in the description to go to his Patreon so you can support the work that you do. Uh, it goes over the installation file, um, everything that we just mentioned in those step-by-step -step things. But what I want Mrs. Kong's arrest to do is this is the mystery encoder, team encoder, mandatory, obligatory, fuck you section. So you <laughs> want me to read I do want you to read this just for the chat because it's fun. Right. Uh, these are our disclaimers here. <clears throat> Fuck you, Arcade 1 up. This release was hot garbage, and you know it. T2 runs like it's being emulated on a digital calculator from 1985. How did you manage to get this wrong? Granted, it did take me two years to get this far. So real blame goes to... Uh, fuck you all, winner. Seriously, <laughs> this chip is so bad. Your BSP kernel is the biggest piece of shit I've ever had the displeasure of dealing with. I'm sure Arcade One Up and BTE agree. Fuck you, Arcade One Up YouTuber. <laughs> uh, <no>. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> but sure, you know who you are. Stirring up drama, name calling it is for kids, and we're all we're all over the drinking age in the U.S. Many of us twice that. None of us need that shit. Knock it off. Am I? Ooh, there is one more. All right, and finally, a huge middle finger to every single community member who said T2 could never possibly be modded, and that's it's too weak or that it simply can't be done because it's an Android. Folks, this team has been hacking since before Google is even a thing. If it has an interface, it has to be hackable. End of story. Learn to code, bitches. <laughs> well done, well done. It's been a while since I've been a good... Um... A uh, good F you section. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? Any unmentioned fuck yous that didn't make it into the chat or into the read me section that you may want to shout out now? No, I think I pretty much covered it. <laughs> pretty much covered it. We have a couple of thank yous here as well to all the members of Team Encoders. You're the best bunch of a-holes you've ever worked with. Uh, to your girlfriend, look at you. You made it. <laughs> Mr. Direction's girlfriend, you're in here officially. You've stood by him for two years of this bullshit, and uh, hopefully you'll see more of his time afterwards. So thank you for allowing me. Which is to hilarious because he forgets I exist when he doesn't see me. <laughs> ADHD. Everybody put in the chat, say that you appreciate Mr. Direction's girlfriend for letting him do this. So uh, <laughs> really so. my narcissism. <laughs> All right, so that's the, the README file. Please check that out. So once you get the image, you're going to put that onto your desktop after you unzip it. This is an example of Balena Etcher. So essentially, you're going to flash from file, select your SB device once you have your SD card put into your PC, hit that flash button. It literally takes just about three minutes or so to do. So it was a very quick process to do. And so we're ready for the next step. Mrs. Kong's Rust, this little micro SD card is ready to put into our T2. So what we're going to oh, do is move some stuff. Yeah, we're going to get ready to move some things around. So we're going to add camera number two. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so this is my Terminator 2. Uh, I have done some physical mods to it. So there hasn't been any soft mods to this right now. 
Um, but let me just move the camera a little You're bit so that we can misdirection. <laughs> All right. All right, so here is my modded Terminator 2 cabinet. Uh, the only physical mods that I've done, I actually did the recess monitor mod. So it does have uh, you know, that recess screen in it. I put a coin door that's lit up because you have to have that on there. And then I did the cord mod to be able to drop the cords into the bottom of it. So those are the physical mods, but everything else soft mod wise uh, is still stock. So we're going to uh, shut this down because you always want to make sure it's unplugged when you're doing modding. Uh, and then on the back side, uh, access to the SD port should be fairly easy on the back side i've actually mounted my pcb backwards for funsies what? to the back because it's right there Honestly, i will say that is a good idea uh, the h6 is the same chip that's in uh the pinball cabinets okay and it is prone to overheat so doing so is probably a good idea especially if you're going to mod it okay cool so right now um uh, so you might even do this, like flipping it around just in case as like a, a, the recommendation. Is that what you're saying? Sorry, we have cats fighting here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. So yeah, so you would recommend flipping it around. So I did this. Again, this is your stock one's going to be more upfront, but this one fits. So we're going to stick the SD card into the micro SD slot. Uh, it should be right here right between uh, the power cable and the audio cable. So go ahead and stick it in right there. Ooh, this is the first time I'm sticking something yeah. in. Yeah. So I'm going to unplug this completely. Wait, it goes mm -hmm. right here? Yeah, that's the SD card slot. That's Get it in. Big slot right here. Yeah, All Get right. it in. Put it in. I'm not going to be in charge of breaking anything. Or am I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel that. There we go. That's it. You good? It's supposed to go in all the way. I think you have to push it in, so or maybe turn it upside down. Push it until it clicks. Yeah, you have to. Push I'll it. push it until it clicks. There Clicky. you go, clicky. All right, so that's all the way in. She is very good. And we also need to clip that. Push it in all the way. Push it in all the way until it clicks. Until it clicks. That's all right. That's going to be in the second part of the demo. We're going to stick this back on just for right now. Okay. All right, flip it around, and let's turn it on. And it's all like literally you just plug it in and it does all the magic. Yep. All right. All right. Here it is, folks. Hopefully this won't take a whole hour to do. Um, what should be the time length we should be expecting for this? Oh, look at that. There's a Mr. Encoder logo popping up right there. That's so cool. Yeah. All right. Team Encoder is now inside of our T2. This is dope. Very fun. Oh, yeah. You have the recess screen, don't you? Yeah. So that's the recess that's screen nice. mod that I did. So just a little some extra nope. uh, recess screen mod from uh, Retro Lizard. I think it makes a little bit of a difference on this cabinet. So it's just that a little extra flair. Honestly, what I would like to do is uh, have a little projector on the inside to project the damage like the original yeah. cabinet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's no way in hell I'm ever finishing that. <laughs> <laughs> so that, like, that would be an upgrade potentially, like actually putting something that could flash for damage. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to promise anything because very unlikely I'll ever actually get it done. But mm -hmm. it's possible. <laughs> See, Mr. Encoder says you did it. You just pushed it in and you push start. Okay. Uh, so what are we looking at time wise for this? You just said it could take a while from the uh, the reading oh, section. Still... There it is. <laughs> That's it. Cyberdyne Systems. Ooh, Ooh this system is authorized fun. for users only, individual use. This computer system and network without permissions from Cyberdyne systems is strictly prohibited. Using this system without prior authorization and inadvertently set off the Judgment Day protocol, in which case all organic life may be obliterated. Please act accordingly. Username N Dyson. Welcome back, Miles Dyson. It's been 10,510 days since your last login. Oh, this is wow. so dope. <laughs> Installing to... no fade. This is cool, man. There's a lot of detail that went into Yeah, I love the little detail. That's so cool. Yeah, that, that is actually the number of days since Miles Dyson died in the movie to today. Oh, okay, to today. Yeah, so today. Time, <laughs> you put into this is insane. Yeah, so March 17th, even yesterday. So officially dropped today publicly. So you're seeing this oh. in the link again. I um, can't see where it says installing. That's because your monitor. Oh yeah, sorry. It says installing no fate. Let me let me link this higher. I think I can make this a little bit higher. I think the progress bar is moving. 
Yeah, it's moving. It's right there. Sorry. Very cool. So from the time that you had it working for yourself to the time that you had it kind of release ready for the public, how much time did you spend on kind of the interface and the installation portion of this? Because I know that really takes a ton of time. Oh, I just noticed you had a big scratch here. Um, I don't know. How long would you say? Uh, the better part is seven months. Yeah, wow. 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 I didn't spend that much on the interface, definitely. Oh, that is a lie. That is a bold face. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like we should have somebody come on. I've heard. I have to redo really it. Oh, I bought something. <laughs> oh, God, this isn't working. No, the painstaking detail this man put into this thing. It's, it's pretty amazing. So we're going to appreciate it right now. Look at the detail here. It says installation complete. You may now turn off the cabinet, remove the SD card, and place your ROMs in the ROM folder. Thank you to my patrons. So this is where we publicly acknowledge all the people that have been supporting you right now. So uh, Jan Childers, Sin to Sin, Abigail Hartbaum, Michael No, Brandon Vargas. Uh, we have Glay, Charlie, Carl, Jason, uh, Lip Trove, Jono, Stefan, John, Adrian, Brian, Brian, Corey, David, DJ Holland, Donovan, Sean, Zoltan, Jeff Prentice, and Michael. Thank you. Thank you for supporting this like a, a mm -hmm. player's headline or something. When names mm -hmm. are big and it's just kind of tiny and tiny and tiny. Yeah, because it's the different tiers that he has for the Patreon. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. So <laughs> there you All go. All right, let's turn this. All right, let's turn it off. Go ahead and push the off button. Off. Uh... Oh, yeah. Um, I have been told that it has a little trouble shutting down from this screen. Oh, you yeah. You can pull Nothing the power happened. and everything is parked and ready to go. <laughs> What's so I could even just plug it if I don't, I yeah. can just unplug it? Okay, all right. I, nothing happened. Yeah, so at this point right now, that's good to know. So we're holding down the on button. This has one of those like soft off buttons. So it does kind of go into a stop start. Yeah, is it's really- Is it gonna do that probably. afterwards or is, it should be the only time that it has issues? This hopefully should be the only time you have issues. Uh, right. I've been told there's some weird issues with power on, power off when the right. uh, software is- I just active. hold the power switch so it turns off. We're holding. Yeah, we're holding. I'm holding it. Hold it. You just hold it. We're holding, Mystery Encoder. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Been holding it for a while. Holding it and holding it and holding it. Wow. <laughs> you just hold it. Oh, no. We're Are making we? a hold. Hold. Hold the door. <laughs> All right, I don't think it's going to work. We're just going to unplug it. For the sake of the stream, we're not holding. We're holding too long. All right, dang it. Oh, you got to know when to hold. This is cool as fuck. Oh, thank you, Toxin. What's up, man? All right, I don't think it's going to work. You've been holding it? I've been holding it. All right, let go. We're going to do it. We're pulling the plug, Mr. Encoder. We're pulling the plug. That's fine. All right. So afterwards, we just need to pull out the SD card. Get that misdirection. All right. Let's pull this out. Okay. Now it's time to pull out. Pull out. Yes. Right. Push the button and pull it out. Click, click. Click, click. Pull out. Pull out. All right. There it is. All right. Cool. So this portion. Now we're gonna do the um the section where we're gonna plug this in to a PC, and then uh for folks that may be curious about getting these files, the next ROM batch. Do you have any recommendations? <laughs> Just Google search, anything you can share for the folks that you would love to say for people that may want to get this next person working? Yeah, while I uh, can't condone piracy and you know things that you don't own, et cetera, uh, if you go to uh, archive.org and search there specifically, a lot of the uh, stuff that you need for this will be available somewhere there. Nice. Or you can ask ChatGPT to do it for you because they'll make up some weird stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Send you so, to some uh, like Chinese website that uh, is definitely not going to hack you. Oh yes, and totally click on everything that mm -hmm. you didn't accept. Popsicles in your area. What are these? All right, so now we are at the stage um, where we have the file plugged into one of our PCs right here. 
And so uh, it does kind of pop up and ask you to format the drive. And so you did put a note in your readme to set, just hit cancel. Yeah. Uh, so if this pops up and you know, this is part of that disk image drive. You actually to... read instructions. I did, I tried to wow. follow along a little bit. Um, so there is now in that USB drive, a ROM section. So you have a ROMs folder here because there's several different partitions and you've already coded the ROM names uh, for the different file systems that you have on here that you're running. So can you just walk through, uh, you know, which systems you have running on here for people that want to know the technical side of it? So you have, it looks like Dreamcast, Final Burn Neo, MAME, and, and PlayStation 1. Is that kind of what you got working on here? Yeah, those are basically the platforms. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have any Dreamcast specific games yet, but mm -hmm. uh, currently we have, I think, three Naomi games. Okay. Or no, two Naomi, one is Thomas Wave. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And then the only ROM, just for clarification's sake, that is included on here is the actual Terminator 2 ROM. Because if you've purchased the T2 cabinet, to your point, you have the ROM there. So yes, Terminator 2 is on here. It's the only game on the arcade window cabinet. So you are never losing that official game on there, which is fun. Uh, and I know, funny enough, let's just talk about it now, because like I'm I'm interviewing here. Uh, you mentioned in the directions uh, or in the FU section that the emulation itself really is poor. So what are some of the differences between the main version that people could look out for compared that it will be upgraded from the one up version? Like, what do you think will be those 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 benefits? Basically, just the speed. Um, that's really the only thing that was really suffering in uh, Terminator 2, especially mm -hmm. if you play it long term. Mm -hmm. uh, you get towards the end and it just drags. Mm. The actual emulation so will slow you down. You should be able to actually play it beginning to end with no problems. Got it. Okay, that's good to know. So that way it improves. So even if this is probably for folks that maybe don't want to put all the ROMs in there, if you just wanted an upgraded T2 experience, this probably would be a better experience than um, the stock one. So that's just something for you guys to consider if you're playing this. Um, okay, so after you source said ROM from different locations, um, then all you would need to do if you had those same ROMs here, uh, you know, for example, the main files, uh, you would just drag those into the main folder. So I um, may have sourced these myself or it's from somewhere else. <laughs> and then just dragging and dropping literally into the folder right here. So I, I do have a question because I did see your list of ROMs that were working on the, the readme file. Um, mm -hmm. Why is it that uh, like Time Crisis and Point Blank, which I have seen work in MAME, but you have the PSX versions on them. Do they just not work well? on the all winter chip? Like, is that like performance is too slow? Have you tested them? Yes. And yeah, <laughs> it's basically the same problem that you get with like the retro shooter or mm -hmm. um, any of the other arm based chips. Yeah. The problem really is that MAME, uh, a lot of their um, dynamic, dynamic recompilation is mm -hmm. uh x86 centric so it works mm -hmm. great on a pc but mm -hmm. any other chip it's awful Got so it. okay. it's possible to get it running but not with any kind of decent speed Got it. Okay. I think that was my big question for like the retro shooters. That makes sense though, because it is using a similar yeah. chip. Have you have you messed with the retro shooter? Have you seen that at all? Any thoughts on that? Not really. Um I know of it. And, you know, I'm happy that people had an alternative method for this cabinet and time crisis and all those things before we get to them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm kind of staying away from it specifically because I want ne not necessarily for this to compete, but for this to stand up against it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to give an alternative for people to be able to play something with system that they already own and getting some right. upgraded stuff out of it too. Cause you know, one of the options was doing the retro shooter mod on T2, but then you would lose the Uzis. You'd have to get the integration kit. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, this gets you uh, in terms of compatible games. Cause I feel like you've done a lot of testing. Do you have like a number of games that you've tested that work on this mod? Like, and is there any, sorry, go ahead. Answer that first question. Uh, no, I, I actually haven't counted. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I was way too busy getting all the file names and directories correct in the README. <laughs> mm -hmm. We did play the one, though, that worked pretty well. Yeah, uh, Confidential Mission. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That no, pretty cool. good. Yeah, that sounds good. Like, we can test that one. So, yes, Mr. Encoder, I started copying them all. You know, I just wanted to demo, like, you know, not everybody may have 
said ROMs in just one giant folder, right? You may source them individually from your own collection of ROMs and things. Um, so does yeah. your readme actually have the, the compatibility list of which ROMs work and which ones don't? I think I remember seeing it. Yeah, just just the readme has that whole list of what uh, works mm -hmm. and where to put it. And where um, to put it. Okay. I will say the Terminator 2 ROM that is actually included in your folder already, mm -hmm. you'll want to overwrite that because it isn't, generating quite properly uh and when you start it in mame it doesn't work oh, so go okay. ahead and overwrite that once you get to that point oh okay um, i don't know what i just pressed but i skipped think something i think i skipped it okay i'll go back and overwrite it just to make sure that i i include that one back on there but um oh no just for this part specifically when you're copying yeah, yeah. The ROMs, um when you get to t2 it'll say it already exists just overwrite. all right, all right. i'm on it um that way but you your experience. replace. Yeah, with all that said, it should, um, you know, if you just add one or two ROMs, it will only show those two in the menu. So the mm -hmm. uh, Sam is actually set up to look for those specific file names, which is why cool. I was, you know, specific about what the file names needed to be and where they needed to be. Mm -hmm. uh, it will seek those out specifically and only populate those in the menu. Got it. I have a question that showed up twice. Mm -hmm. um, so misdirection, if you override the T2, is it also going to lose the making of T2 videos? <laughs> no, like actually. A thought, so it's a legit question. Um, this actually came up earlier. Um, the original plan, you know, before I went full C, uh, SD card with this, mm -hmm. was to basically take that video out, back it up for myself because I love it, um we all and, love it and you know use that space specifically for the hack but mm -hmm. switching to sd card essentially we can just put everything there so going that route i definitely wanted to keep it because honestly that's the best part of the original software <laughs> um yeah by the way like i don't have an sd card reader on my thing i'm using mm -hmm. i'm using a, a usb 2.0 card reader right now, which is why it's taking so <laughs> slow. <laughs> it's always something, right? Sorry. It's Don't the only listen to these two gentlemen no, have I, a conversation. I, yeah, we're just conversating. That's why. I mean, normally it doesn't take, you know, three minutes to upload this many documents, but it just allows us some time. So, you know, I was like, hey, to fill. yeah, like, cause, yeah. Anyways, who has micro SD card readers up the wazoo anyways? Um, but that's why it's taking so slow. Um, <laughs> you've never watched two seconds of that video? Man, I mean, okay, so people, are, can they still access that video then? I'm sorry, I missed that portion of it. Is it is it one of the options? Yeah, it's there on the main menu. Um, it's not um, within Sam because mm -hmm. that would make no sense whatsoever, but it's still there. It's still there. <laughs> Got it. Okay. I like what Dean Yeah, the, the only thing that was cut from the original software was the credits page. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just because specifically that's where I injected the, the SAM loader. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. We're almost there. We're going to plug it back in and we'll get to playing. And then after this, now that I understand how simple this is, uh, I will uh, commit to making a condensed you know, five to 10 minute tutorial for those that really want to see the short, short version of it. Because uh, this is really easy. I mean, compared to all the other mods, uh, the shitty things that I've seen Mystery Encoder do and other folks, I mean, this misdirection, you've done, I've done yourself. Maybe they should hire you for all the installation stuff that they do instead of these weird ass menus and things like that. So yeah, asshole YouTubers are trying to dictate how you guys should do your work. This is really easy, Mystery Encoder. <laughs> Yeah, it's like um, like Dimod was saying earlier, um, I wouldn't expect this from any of the other future mods. This is 100% me and the way I do things. Okay. Uh, like I was saying to Mystery Encoder earlier, um, I grew up during the you know C64 crack throw days. You mm -hmm. know when like during the hacker renaissance. So I expect a bit of showmanship in my hacks. <laughs> That he's an arrogant, arrogant prick. Yep, fair enough. We also have a special mes message from Mr. Encoder to you, Kongzoras. You can eat a dick. This is a unique situation. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification, Mr. Encoder. I appreciate you. But, you know, <laughs> we're going to say, all right, we're going to eject the card, plug it back in. Are you ready for this, Mrs. Kongzoras? You got a system. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, any, since we're putting this on an SD card, is there future modifications or other games and things that, you know, people can put on here? Is there going to be future modding opportunities for this? Yeah, I actually plan to continue with this unless, you know, I end up switching gears and working on Big Buck. That's, yeah. <laughs> that just came up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but the future plans for this, I have massive lofty goals for what we can achieve with this. And I'm definitely not going to be able to do even half of them. Mm -hmm. But if I can get half of them, it's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, That's but, fine. you know, for that reason, the SD card and the reason that I specifically recommend, you know, 8 to 16 gigabytes mm -hmm. is the SD card itself has a partition on it that is specifically for data for this. Mm -hmm. And I definitely left enough space that we can totally expand this. Nice. Very cool. And maybe eventually in the future, we'll get more mis misdirection to come join you for all this stuff. There. We, well, we she'll have, never go on camera, but that's okay. But she's funny as fuck. So we want to hear more from her. Yay. <laughs> Hi. Good to see you. Thanks for coming on and say hello. How are you? Oh, my work badge. <laughs> Nobody, saw, Nobody saw nothing. We weren't in there at all. No, it was my work badge. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you for coming on to say hello. More fun to yes. see some folks in here. Do you get to play any of this stuff too? I I really? some of the stuff with him. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to pretend I understand what's going on. <laughs> um, I, I work in the medical field. This is way, way out of my, yeah. But yeah. I mean, we played several of them. Uh, the one we played last night worked really, really well. Nice. Um, what was the other one we did? We this one, the other cab them. behind you. There's another cab that Mr. There's Encoder five. <laughs> we have five. Yeah, five. yeah, that's flurry. That's flurry. Fun, fun, fun. All right, sounds good. All right, let's get back to the modding portion of it. We'll I finish up. You want to talk about cats? We'll do a cat stream later on. Okay, here we go. Mrs. Kongs of Us is now going to plug it back in. <laughs> plug it back in. This has got to be the weirdest, like, play. even my tiny hands has a hard time, like, tiny trying to, hands. Like, my knuckles are in the way. And... Yeah. Honestly, oh, like I... Mystery Encoder was saying earlier, um, it's really easy to stick it between the actual slot and the PCB and mm, just scrape yeah. the metal. Yeah. So I feel you, like you, you got to be careful with it, but it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Well, All right. Literally, that's it. We're turning oh, it around. We got a floofer. Are you, we don't need to watch you turning things around, but I want to see. Hello. Yeah, that is Gilgamesh, <laughs> the king of floof. That is his legal <laughs> name, and he is unhappy. <laughs> the king of floof. Oh, no. ah. oh. You okay? Somebody just decided to go a little bit of like American Ninja Cat on. <laughs> All right, we're back on. It's loading. We can see on the other side, and yeah. I'm not going to fix it again. Yeah. She'll eat me. <laughs> there's pattern. Turn off big blue so there's not a bunch of yeah. there. Oh, nice little intro screen there. Ooh, Very fun. OK. Weird. Oh, and then it has the team encoder menu there. Oh, Got yeah. it. So that, that that's what goes into Sam? Yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. Worry. Okay. Very cool. So here's the, everything still working, and now here is a team encoder logo <laughs> there next to the settings menu. So you custom designed this then, right? To kind of like yeah. put the graphic back on there. It looks almost exactly like it. Um, so so then I guess my question is, I'm not connected to the internet for this, but does the stock one still work in addition to this? The stock game still works. Um, I haven't connected to the internet specifically because. Uh, I know it's just going to ask for the update and I haven't, I've had a hell of a time getting the update to actually install mostly because, uh, while the cab kind of started stock ish, okay. I have screwed with it so much that I think it's so far from stock that it's not going to update. Oh, okay. So do you, you recommend no people update. don't connect it to the Wi-Fi so they'll lose the leaderboard functionality for now? I think the leaderboard functionality should still work. 
still work. Okay. Um, All right. We, you know, I haven't done anything to touch that or, you know, make it hackable or anything. Uh, nothing in the original game has changed, so mm -hmm. it should still work exactly the same. Okay. Uh, the only stuff that we're touching is specifically, well, basically just that menu. Got it. All right, cool. Well, I will be happy to break it and test it and I'll do it, all that good I'll stuff. I'll also break something. No. All right, <laughs> but it says shoot button to start shit ass menu or aim to select a different button. Shoot the gear icon for the game setting. Shoot the leaderboard panel to browse leaderboards. Press the live button to say the thing. So that's funny. You, so you still do have it called shit ass menu here. So that's fine. Yeah. So Sam, <laughs> all right. There it is. Shoot the arrows to change the selected yeah. item. There oh, it is. That is the uh, portfolio font, by okay. the way. Uh, what? From the original handheld okay. computer that they used uh, to hack everything in the uh, in the movie. Nice. Do I have to do anything to get the cursor on the screen here, or is that something? Uh, actually, the cursor is supposed to be there. Um, yeah. I had some SDL issues, so basically, you've got to be a dead eye to get this to work right. Uh, instead, you can hit the P1 and P2 start buttons okay. to uh, navigate as well. Oh, OK. So you can press the P1, P2. I pressed yeah. the trigger button, and I think it like loaded up a game. I yeah, think. it's whatever would have been there, so probably Area 51. Area 51? OK. Nice. OK, so the screen's there. So this is Area 51, putting in a coin. And then you said something about volume. I have to turn the volume up in the main menu first, not yeah. here, correct? Okay. Yeah, I haven't got the volume controls in there yet, but okay. we'll probably get there eventually. That's got okay. It. We're playing it in non-loud mode. Okay, so we're not <laughs> in loud mode right now. So if you want to turn it up, turn it up before you enter the ass menu. Um, so you're going to put in your credits. This looks like it's the Area 51 maximum force. Can you turn it down. Oh, and you, you got single recoil to work on here. That's really cool. Yeah. So for games that aren't using continuous recoil, it's a single... <laughs> a little like it's so faint it's so fun though because like you feel like a little bit of recoil in here when you're pressing it that's super fun all right yeah it's so goofy but i love it it's goofy but it's fun it works holy crap that's super fun all right shoot the 10 gauge shotgun Automatic oh fire. right um this one is a off off screen reload game okay um what I found works best for that yeah. is the upper left corner, okay. but uh, this one should have uh, the side button remapped to reload. Okay, so I could press the reboot. Okay, got. Oh, I'm not even like pressing start yet. I'm like, why is I not even playing yet? <laughs> like, what the heck's going on? All right, there it is. All right, so you have the button here to set to reload, or you can shoot yeah. off screen to reload. Got it. All right. Yeah, and I'm wondering uh, with you with the uh, recessed mod if off screen reload might work better, but I'm not sure on that because I don't have it. Uh, yeah, top left corner. Yeah, you kind of want to be dead on with this, so for sure. But accuracy is pretty good still. I mean, it's sending tech, so um, nice. I mean, performance wise, it feels like very similar. So this is uh, Area 51. So this is the Area 51 Maximum Force. And then to exit the game, you press the live button, is that right? Yes. Okay. So live. Yeah. Button's originally, it was supposed to go back to the menu, but okay. now it's kind of set to reboot. Uh, no! But more than half the time, it crashes when you push the button. So oh, I, I think that's what just happened. happened. Shit happens. Okay. So uh, this is still, I would say, a uh, not not completely one hundred percent ready, but we're we're ready. Okay. So testing. if it does freeze like this, then what do you do? Do we shut it off? Do we power, power cycle? Um, honestly, my power bu eh, my power button is so wonky that I usually just unplug it and plug it back in. Okay. But you may be able to just hold down the power button and power cycle hold that it. way. You gotta hold All it. All right. Is this like a, a first time thing or does this happen like every time you try to exit a game? <laughs> uh, for me, it has happened about, okay. I'll say 60, 70% of the time it's crashed. Okay. So don't keep it pushed against the wall. All right. Yes, the holding worked this time. So to turn it off and turn it back on. So to the exit the game, select your game carefully because you may need to exit out of your whole system and then jump back into it. But hey, it still works, all right? So it was still good. You <laughs> yeah, have some sometimes you'll hit in. the button and it will reboot. OK. <laughs> sometimes. 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 All right. OK, so we're going back in here, jumping back into shit ass menu. Yeah. That was another okay. last minute thing. <laughs> All right. And so, yeah, I don't see the cursor on here. 
At yeah. All. Um, basically, to hit those, you have to, you know, iron sight, dead eye the fucking thing. Oh, like, oh, so there's no cursor. Like, I'm literally shooting them right now. Yeah. Oh, I see. But, so like no I said, you can use the P1 and P2 start buttons. Okay. And navigate that way. It's a lot Got easier. It. You can navigate this way to get to your game that you want to and then shoot it, or you can actually shoot. So, or maybe then I would say if you're going to make a, an update to this, you should just add that text into this menu. Yeah, I had planned on doing that before release, but never got around to it. <laughs> okay, or press P1 uh, start coin to like change it as well. So that way yeah. people will know. Um, all right, but these are all the games. Are they in any uh, sort of order at all in here? Alpha, oh, did Alpha Dead right? still show up on there? I think it's Alpha. Oh, Revolution X. This is the That's thing that everybody wants to play on the cabinet. So is this running pretty well? Can we test Aerosmith? You want to play some Revolution X? Sure. Here you go. So uh, the main criticism of the Terminator 2 cabinet is that there was only one game on it. And yeah. the other game people really wanted to play on it was Revolution X. Do you know what that game is? No, but it's also checking the ROMs. So, mm -hmm. it's, oh, so it's a midway game that featured Aerosmith okay. shooting um, CD discs that's people as they're singing and i don't even know what the storyline is for revolution x but you're aerosmith in the background shooting crap so i don't know are you aerosmith or are you like a cop like do you know you're just a, a random dude who stumbled on all this you're just uh, a random aerosmith is just stumbled. the ones basically sending you on this mission <laughs> ah i see it's they're, a ridiculous ass story they're the charlie to your charlie's angel so as long as it's sting that's yeah. all that matters Ah, oh, I do remember this game taking a while to boot up and and. Oh play. yeah, you can hit start from there. What's that? Oh, you can hit start, start from there; it'll move in. Oh, we just want oh, to start blinky okay. screen for a while. There it is. Okay, there it is. We got our coins. Oh, we have a two-person play. Oh, maybe we can do two. Oh, we can so two-player functionality is up on all these games too. Yep. Oh, okay. Nice. We get in here. Oh yeah, two-player. Oh, where's my? You're the red one. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, no, it's one of those again. Yeah, we're kind of swapped because your blue gun is the red one and my red one is the blue gun. So you just. So we just shoot. Yeah. Um, just shoot, shoot it Terminator off. 2 and uh, Revolution and it, X had different, and press the button, it <laughs> different sides. Bit. There was also a yellow one in the middle on the three gun cabinet, but, you know, it's the two gun ROM. So, yeah. Nice. Cool. So you can play two player Revolution X on here. Pretty dang dope. There's the guy. Shoot the disc, shoot the disc, shoot the disc. Are we shooting big oh, one of the yeah. I know what's going wrong there. I will fix that next version. What happened? What is it? Uh, the, the reason the discs are flying off into the corner is because the off uh, off screen reload is still set. So it's oh, moving okay. your um, your view up into the corner. Oh, uh, I see. So no matter where so you it, aim, it's going to the so corner. So yeah, it's, it's a thing it's I need to fix. That like left corner. Got it. Okay. All right. So Revolution X, add that into your uh, README known issues. Cool. All right. And then for anybody that's doing this too, I think that's a good thing because you're just you're you are just one person. Let's 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 test this out. Let's hit that button and see what happens. Is it gonna do it? It's paused. There's no countdown. Kind of a bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna all see right. it work once sometime during this stream two for two crash you know that's 66 percent. if we tried another time and it works so we can test it out um so since there will be more people testing this out yeah. and using this if people find issues and would like to share feedback what's the best way you'd like people to communicate with you to share some of the feedback they have on the cabinet uh easiest way you know if you're not uh, a member of the Patreon would be uh, the Team Encoder public Discord. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in there fairly regularly, and that's probably the, the easiest way to get in touch with us for an issue on one of these. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so join the Team Encoder Discord if you haven't. There's a link in the description, so you can click on that. There's a T2 thread you can get added to if you want to give feedback, um, because I think now that you will have an army of people trying to test this, you will have no shortage of people saying thank you and this shit doesn't work for me. And here's my reason why or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you know, I'm yes, sure people, those, yeah. those things are mm -hmm. by me specifically, I won't talk for anybody else, mm -hmm. but for me, those things are looked at positively because mm -hmm. yeah, if somebody else catches an issue that I didn't, mm -hmm. I can fix it. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, yeah. 
please uh, be nice and thankful, but feel free to share your constructive criticism for things like this. And you'll get issues like this that hopefully you'll get, uh, you know, updates and releases. So thanks again for putting this together, man. This was, uh, what was it? No Fate 1.0. Uh, yeah. And I remember Mystery Encoder was really quickly motivated to kind of work on some of these improvements. So now that we have this first release, can you give us any idea of, uh, are you taking a break? Are you going to go straight into kind of yes. improving things already? <laughs> Make it is. No big buck mod. According to her, I'm taking a break. Yes. But... It's been two years, bro. <laughs> wow, you she added a break. <laughs> we will give him no. a break. And that's, I'm giving him his opportunity to publicly state that he needs a break. So here you it is. So this is how people can hear it. Honestly, I was just saying, um, this is actually where the fun part starts. Mm -hmm. We've got the initial release out. Now is mm -hmm. when I can dig in and really try to get the shit that doesn't work working. Yeah. Um, you know, the stuff that absolutely has no business working on this, you know, terrible cabinet. Mm -hmm. You know, dig in, make it work. Yeah. Yeah, and there'll be kind of some community collecting. And and Miss Misdirection, uh, Mr. Encoder says... He has a support system to help fix the issue. So hopefully uh, <laughs> there will be more support of saying. I've met the support system. They're enablers. <laughs> enablers, I know. We're we're all in this hobby together to enjoy the fun uh, that this, this isn't a hobby. Us. This is a problem. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. That's one game. other way of saying it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, any other kind of recommended games that you might want to show people to test out, like or to showcase. upper upper limit in terms of the capabilities? Like you said, confidential mission, right? Yeah. Um, originally, we had uh, House of the Dead two. I had to remove it uh, prior to release. Although I think I saw it on your menu, so that may be a problem. <laughs> okay. Um, but there's an issue with the P two start button. Uh, where it will bring up the test menu. I did see it. Which here. means you can't play that two players. Okay. And everybody is going to want to play that two players. I see. Got it. Okay. So don't press this button right now. It should not work properly. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I mean, it kind of works properly for one player, but uh -huh. okay, it's still iffy. Um, <laughs> confidential mission, I would say, while it's not 100%, is about, you know, 80 to 90%. Mm-hmm. Um, what else was on there? Uh, Ranger mission works fairly well as well. Uh, mm -hmm. That's an a, a Thomas Wave military shooter, mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of the stuff on the upper end. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had Area Fifty One on the upper end of Mame, uh, as well as I had just gotten working uh, the '90s uh, Sammy shooter Zombie Raid, so mm -hmm. that got included as well. Um, that was one of my favorites from back. <laughs> I, I had it at a uh, local bowling alley. And I used to play the hell out of it when I was a teenager. Um, that one I definitely recommend. Nice. Cool. All right. So those are your recommended titles from Misdirection. This is Confidential Mission, which is one of the Naomi titles. So I would say yeah. is on the kind of upper end of, of some of the capabilities. And again, this was a very simple mod with the SD card. So you just need to be able to purchase your own SD card. Certain, like, uh, you know, as many of us who have modded in this community have them lying around, but I would definitely recommend, you know, getting at least an eight gigabyte version of it. And then it's just researching getting these ROMs. This is for free for the most part. Um, and you know, there's so there's no other like paywall besides supporting you through Patreon, right? Like for other future upgrades and things, like anything yeah. that you and I, you know, I've specifically been against paywalling because. Mm -hmm. The way I put it, I'm not techno gods. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do the techno parrot thing where mm -hmm. it's going to be locked down unless mm -hmm. you pay me. Mm -hmm. uh, so everything that I do will always be free. Specifically, nice. you know, if it's associated with Team Encoder, especially because yeah. we do free stuff. That's yeah, <laughs> that's how it is. Nice. Um, but you know, patrons will have early access. They may have mm -hmm. betas, that sort of thing. So, you know, there are advantages to uh, to joining, but there's not necessarily going to be things that only you are going to get. Got it. Cool. So definitely consider che uh, checking out the Patreon. Uh, there's a link to your Patreon there to, to show some support specifically for Misdirection. Uh, this is awesome. And I, I really love the integration of the solenoids. The single fire solenoid is 
it's just subtle but it's it's so much fun i just i love it it's just really freaking cool to you know see the little single fire solenoids on there it's it like it sounds i don't want to say it, but the retro shooter one the buzzing mechanical one is more annoying than this one like i almost feel like this is just like a little bit of enough of a recoil even though it's not a strong kickback for this um cool, yeah, actually, the, the way that i pulled that off yeah um the way it actually works and i think you talked about this uh at some point there's a motor that just turns a little piece of plastic mm -hmm. that just snaps against another piece of plastic. Mm -hmm. Fancy tech. Sorry, more caps. Um, and what I ended up doing to just get the one click is figuring mm -hmm. out how long it took for the motor to make one full rotation and only mm -hmm. one rotation. Uh, I didn't get it exact, so there will be a couple of times when it may snap twice. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. for the most part, it works. <laughs> For the most part, it's freaking genius for one of these things, too. That's what I was thinking about for... It's almost like the reverse problem in the Time Crisis cabinet with Point Blank because it's a single fire, but mm -hmm. I'd almost want it to be like for the Steel Gunner games, I'd want it to go continuously somehow. So you kind of reverse engineered it, making a spinning solenoid just go once, which is freaking pretty cool. Yeah. Um, love that. All right, this is the third, third game, third exit. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wait. Do I have to hold down the live button? Hold. Maybe I have to hold it down. Third time's a charm. Can we do it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, you just have to really like the game that you're playing, and that's okay. I mean, shutting it down all the way down. If it were to work, would it happen like almost immediately and just go back to the menu, like shut off to the back to the menu? Um, I have seen it. Um to where it'll just kind of sit there for a couple of seconds and then okay. reboot. Uh, yeah. But if it hangs for more than, you know, just a brief few seconds, it's probably yeah. crashed. It's probably dead? Okay. Got it. Um, right. I mean, it's dangerous? not too much okay. different than <laughs> the um, the oh. pinner release where you have to kind of turn it off to get back to the menu to, you know, load up yeah. the next game. Yeah. But that makes sense. Yeah, it won't always, it won't forever be that way. I'll get it fixed at some point. Some point. I mean, the good news is we haven't had to unplug it. We just all had to hold the Yeah, power. the holding so the power bad. button down. So those are just like things that people will have to, uh, you know, just know about. Uh, and, and with any good mod, it's, it's always for the person that probably owns this more than, say, for uh, guests and public people that are coming over that may need to navigate the menu and do all these things. You're probably going to set it to one game and forget it. Uh, I'm actually probably going to be testing out some more of the games, including T2 later on. I'll give some more thoughts about this during my full tutorial video uh, on getting this done. But thanks again for, for doing this demo. We got to work in the first time. No big issues that I saw here. Misdirection. Thank you again. And Team Encoder. Did anybody else on the Team Encoder uh, group help with most for, with any of this? Like did any? I know you gave shout outs in general to them, but any other kind of shout outs you want to give to, to the team or folks that helped put this together? Yeah, I mean, um, it's basically everything we do is ooh, ooh, what happened? did most yeah. of the development for this and, you know, the uh, um, the art and everything that you uh -huh. see visually. A mm -hmm. lot of the stuff in the background is little snippets of, you know, things like Sam, mm -hmm. uh, the loader and everything like that. You know, that is all group code that I've just mm -hmm. modified for this specific purpose. Mm -hmm. Nice. So good. So the shit ass menu and all those things are kind of like the building blocks that the team has put together yep. for releases like this. I saw outrun and I, I assume like for DMOD, it's not a far be maybe like blitz and other things too. Is this kind of like going to be the, the team encoder interface that people can kind of start associating some mods with? Um, that is the intent. Um, mm -hmm. You know, in, initially with it being shit ass menu, I think mm -hmm. eventually it's going to expand and become a uh, simple arcade one up menu. Mm -hmm. But Got for it. now, it's shit ass menu. <laughs> simple arcade one up menu. Same, same difference, right? Um, well, this is really fun. Thanks again for sharing your talent and time. Thank you, Miss Misdirection, for allowing him to work on this for the better part of two years. <laughs> Uh, big shout out to you, and uh, uh, we know that it takes a lot of support yeah. for us to stay in this hobby. Proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Aww. That's lovely. Aw, cool. Well, thanks again, everybody else.
<laughs> yeah, we got him to shave and cut his hair for you. So hopefully that true. made a difference. <laughs> he looked like a mad scientist this morning. So which honestly would have been fitting for this specifically, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, because it would just you know what it would because it would just be a culmination of two years of frustration. Uh, yeah, actually, I would have looked like I hadn't had a haircut in two years. <laughs> so we all realize our channel is also couples therapy. So thank you so much for <laughs> your lives with uh, us. Yes, we've talked about a lot of things here. So sometimes it's good to just get it out in the wild. But Mr. Encoder is giving you your props, saying that 100% thing uh, is all you. So kudos to you for talking about this, making it finally happen. Uh, it finally came to fruition. This is a happy day for everybody. It is. And Cheers. also... No keys to <laughs> Yeah, they're trying to keep me from being humble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All good. All right, so check out the um, the link. It's pinned right now for you to download this. Go to Team Encoder Discord. Talk uh, to him directly through there. Join the Patreon so that you can support him for more work that you're doing. Uh, and then Team Encoder. Hopefully Blitz Mod coming soon. Hopefully Pinner Mod 4.0 coming soon to you. Uh, and then eventually... Uh, is there anything else in beyond Terminator 2 for you, uh, misdirection well, work? Right now, apparently, I'm supposed to rest. Um, okay. But, you know, eventually, like I said, um, I will start digging into uh, some of the platforms we don't have, you know, Dreamcast, mm -hmm. um, seeing if there's any more PlayStation games. Mm -hmm. The really easy, low-hanging fruit is things like, you know, NES, SNES, Genesis, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, Sega Master System, I think, had a phaser as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot we can do. Nice. Lots that you can do. Uh, Mr. Encoder is saying, don't talk to Team Encoder. Bug Dmod for Blitzmas. Uh, do it <laughs> because he said he was going to drop it right after T2 was released and hold him to it. All right, Dmod, you've been called out publicly now. <laughs> Come into the Discord and spam him with gifts or spank him with gifts. And So, um, what I'm hearing is I need to do Blitz too. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> After a long rest. After a long rest. Stop. All right. Get your rest, man. Uh, everybody else, thank you all so much for joining us this happy Sunday. Happy St. Patty's Day for those that celebrate. Get drunk. Have some fun. Enjoy your family. Be responsible. Be responsible. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, everybody. Talk thank to you later. You. Bye.